tucked away and secluded. The Bolivar Peninsula, a ferry ride away from Galveston Island. One look at the beach and you realize why some consider it off the grid. A place people come to relax. But when you let your guard down on vacation, sometimes you don't see trouble coming. A 28-year-old mother didn't either. Bridget Garrett was murdered on Crystal Beach. Her daughter, Kira, now lives in Austin. Drawing has like been the reason why I'm so collected or something. She lost her mom at age two and deals with it the best way she knows how. But for this 12-year-old, the questions still linger. These people just come up to her, just she's gone. Like, why, why did that have to happen to her? I don't understand it. And for Kira's father, who dated Bridget for eight years, the emotions are raw. It'd be nice to be able to talk to her about, you know, Kira. Just, you know. Bridget came to the beach with friends. They were co-workers, actually, who invited her on a vacation they took every year, never imagining she would disappear. She died a horrible, horrible death, and I've never forgotten that. Lieutenant Tommy Hansen with the Galveston County Sheriff's Office is the original detective on the case. Where was Bridget last seen? Well, she was last seen alive right here on the beach in front of us. Bridget was from the Beaumont area, a legal assistant at a law firm, and was staying at a corner beach house property right on the water. When night came and her daughter went to sleep, Bridget decided to take a moonlight drive. Several people planned to go, but she walked down first, alone. She wasn't on the beach very long when the vehicle pulled up next to her. Witnesses told investigators they heard a scream and then saw someone pull Bridget into an SUV. But where did she end up? Well, right behind us, you'll see a, a, a waterway there that's known as the washout. And right on the corner there where the dunes are is where we think that she was ultimately killed. Hurricane Ike came the following year scattering witnesses across the country. From the dozens of people on the beach that day, Hansen eventually narrowed in on four suspects. And now he's turned new evidence over to the DA's office. He believes this could be their best shot at making an arrest. Something like that could happen to any one of millions of people that come down here at any given year. The more years go by, the harder the wait becomes for Bridget's family. Do you think it will ever get solved. Yes, at least I hope. For this budding artist, she hopes one day to know more than just what she's seen in her dreams. This is really important to me. It's, you know, one of the biggest parts of my life, not having a parent. Memories of a mother. She's determined not to let her killer wash away.